Hello everyone, this is Aditya from the Zeusara group for binary option and forex trading. Welcome to another daily analysis video with the Prime Forex 6 Plus. So let's have a look on how uh, uh, the day went today and what are the possible setups uh, that are going to happen. Uh, tomorrow is uh, uh, NFP. So uh, we have to be careful uh, uh, before deciding our trades especially have to make sure that you uh, put stop loss to your all uh, active trades and if you are uh, uh, looking to enter any trades tomorrow so uh, it is uh, better to have a better idea what trend is going on and what kind of uh, momentum on the market we have so uh, right now we are on a euro usd so first let's see what uh, has been happening on euro usd uh, as you can see uh, on our uh, trend histo we which is confirming that we have been on uh, uptrend so uh, can see that we got a confirmation here that uh, we have been on uptrend and since the market was uptrend we got some of the good uh, uh, buy setups here so with the trend we uh, had one nice buy here and then uh, we got another buy here so let me calculate the buy setups here so so far after the trend has changed we have got uh, one two three and here is the fourth one which was running so we got uh, around uh, four buy setups but uh, i will also look for the reversal trades which we have uh, received uh, between this period so uh, here you can see that uh, we received some of the very nice setups with uh, uh, just with following the trend histo and our entry signals now uh, let's go have a look on the reversal trades which we have received so here you can see that the first reversal trade which we have received here on our selling zone which was the confirmed by our uh, prime forex advanced filter we, we have to make sure that uh, when we are trading reversal it is always better to have multiple uh, confirmation before we entry why i'm telling you that you can see that the price was even here was inside our selling zone but you can see that our uh, advanced uh, trend filter was confirming that we are in a strong uptrend so this trade was not valid so uh, we could we have saved by that we have not entered and i have not taken these of the trades because uh, the advanced filter was not confirming them but then we got uh, some nice uh, confirmation of with here like we got another sell signal here confirmed with uh, the tr advanced uh, trend filter then the another one and then the other one. this one which happened uh, 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 is uh, i i have entered this trade as I got all the confirmation with the trade, we got the advanced filter, we got uh, a nice uh, reversal signal at the strong resistance area. So it was a nice uh, trade which went for nearly 50 pips or, or plus. So uh, now what's going to happen and what's happening? So let's have a look here. So we can see that right now the Euro USD is uh, moving sideways, it's on flat and uh, that's a very common thing whenever uh, there is a news impact going to happen uh, the market usually turns into a flat uh, trend so we can see that the market is right now it's uh, uh, flat uh, though we are still having a confirmation that we are on a uptrend but i can assume the trend has been going for a quite of some time and uh, right now uh, we can see that the first confirmation from our advanced filter you can see that already have changed and showing us that the, now the momentum here even though we are on an uptrend the momentum is towards selling so we are having a selling pressure here on upwards momentum so uh, i would not uh, prefer to enter here unless all the confirmations are in my favor uh, you can see that the price is right now uh, trading inside a support zone uh, now uh, there could be uh, uh, things happen uh, tomorrow when the markets will be opening either the price will bounce here and uh, before the nfp it can make a movement upwards and then go down 
or if the price can make a breakout here and continue its downwards um, uh, trend momentum and we can have a, a downtrend um, confirmation. So that is something we have to look but right now I would not recommend trading on Euro USD at this market condition we are not sure. So uh, I would like to wait uh, to see what uh, trend is going to be uh, when the market will open. Uh, when the banks will be uh, coming into market and then we'll see that uh, what trend confirmation um, getting uh, from all the uh, indicator and based on that I will be picking up my uh, uh, signal. So now let's go on uh, the other currency pair uh, uh, and see what happening on uh, GBP USD. GBP USD as I can see that right now we are on a, a strong uh, upwards momentum <coughs> we, we are on our first moment but we got a nice buy signal here confirming with all the signal we got a nice uh, momentum with the buying pressure we have a uh, advanced filter telling us we are on uh, upwards momentum i mean the trend history is also green and we got a nice buy uh, signal here which went for nearly uh, uh, let me see how many pips uh, did it went uh, so uh, we get uh, two alerts one which is a pre-alert another one is entry alert now you can enter with the pre-alert closing bar when the uh, if the signal is confirmed by all other uh, confirmation filters so if we count it from here the price uh, went for nearly 71 pips if we count from here the price went for nearly 56 pips so uh, after that we have received one sell signal but this one is not a valid one and you can see why it's not a valid one because it is totally against the trend we have nothing uh, confirming to get in this trade but we can see that right now the GBP USD is getting rejection from this resistance area and still so now we can expect the price to make a movement uh, uh, towards down at least to this support area by uh, when the market will open tomorrow so that's something I will have to look if I uh, get a, a confirmation when the price will come down and give us me, give me any signal then I'll be waiting so right now I won't say there's any trade or um, maybe uh, pref I don't prefer to trade against the trend so for me there's no trade here and if I want to take a, a reversal trade I would wait for uh, having a selling momentum uh, confirmation from the advanced filter otherwise I will not right now I will not take any entry on this market condition on GBP USD uh, let's be on uh, um, let's see what's happening on odd USD uh, odd USD is giving some interesting uh, signals here as you can see that odd USD right now is uh, making a confirmation that we are getting a rejection from a strong resistance area and also we are getting a confirmation that the selling momentum is now entering in the market that means we are getting a selling pressure so uh, but right now here you can see that the price is channeling inside the support zone so this could be a risky trade to enter at this area because we are having a support uh, uh, level here so what we can do here is uh, we can wait for a price to break this level uh, and then we can uh, if you want to get uh, into a reversal sell trading so we can have this or we can wait for the price to make a movement go inside the selling zone and into the strong resistance zone uh, then we can take an entry so right now here we can see that the price is now taking entry inside the support uh, area so it won't be a wise to take a sell trade here so the price can make a movement upwards before it come down again so we have to be cautious about that so uh, let's be, uh, see what's happening uh, on USDCHF so okay so on a USDCHF um, after you can see here uh, we had a nice reversal trade uh, uh, yesterday can see that we got a nice buy trade with a uh, buyer momentum here and before that we have been getting some uh, very good uh, uh, sell signals uh, we can see that the sell 
uh, trend was going for a quite of some time we got the sell momentum starting from here and then here we got the first sell signal now the second signal and there's the third signal we have uh, got here and all went for a nice profits so uh, but right now as I can see that um, we uh, slowly having a momentum shift again in a down uh, words uh, so again the market condition here looks little flat uh, we can see that we have a small resistance we have a small support and the market is going sideways so right now uh, it will be wise to wait and see uh, uh, the uh, movement market will be making tomorrow when the uh, uh, the, uh, the banks will be opening so what I I feel that uh, we have a very much chance since we are uh, being on a downtrend for a quite a some time so I'm assuming that now is a possibility the price may make uh, come a, a little down and then go up and we can have a trend uh, reversal uh, tomorrow uh, possibly uh, by NFP so that's something we have to look for uh, so let's be on a uh, next chart uh, let's see what's going on on a USD uh, Japanese yen uh we had a nice buy signal here if you can see we got a nice uh, all the confirmation here uh, telling us there we are an uptrend and here you can see that after the uh, buying pressure buying momentum we got a nice buy signal which went uh, 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 to the sky and then we got our first pullback signal and now the market made a movement now that's something you have to uh, it's a very common thing that market never goes like this market always uh, works in a zigzag way it goes up it comes down it goes up it comes down and it will be making such a movement so that's something you, you never can expect market to just come down straightly unless it's a crash so uh, we had a nice uh, uh, trade here the market is now but here now you can see that we are on a resistance we have a strong resistance area and uh, we haven't got any uh, breakouts here and also we are near uh, the selling zone so uh, that's something we have to look since uh, uh, when the NFP will hit it will not just uh, impact the euro USD it will also impact the USD JPY so that's something we have to look at uh, what's going to happen uh, in tomorrow's market but since we are on uptrend uh, we could see uh, possibly the market can go with the trend but that's something but right now uh, I think there's nothing because we already had nice uh, trade uh, with the trend so there's nothing to enter on uh, USD uh, JPY we might have to wait for our next movement uh, this level is good for a buy if the price comes down and make a movement up so we can wait for it or otherwise if you are looking to sell uh, you have to wait for this price zone uh, to hit and then we can look for a selling setup so uh, that is all from uh, uh, today's uh, analysis and uh, let's see tomorrow is the last day of the week and how let's see how the NFP uh, impact works tomorrow and I will surely send out a video tomorrow that how uh, everything went and what kind of setups we have got but before we go uh, to show you that with even with the USD JPY we had some nice sell signals here you can see that we had a downtrend and then we got uh, some good signals with the trend which we have followed with the confirmation and now we had a nice sell signal here then with the confirmation we got a nice buy and then again a buy signal so as long you keeping the trend in your favor so keeping a multiple filter and confirmation always help you that I can see that now if you if you don't have all this confirmation here which telling you that we are on a strong downtrend movement so this trace automatically becomes invalid because you can see that we are all on a strong downtrend movement now uh, if I want to take a reversal trade what I would have been entered now we can see that we got a, a buy signal here 
and then the price does make but i when the market was trading i am not sure if this signal is going to make a reversal because right now everything is confirming that i am on a downtrend so what i would have waited that you can see that i would wait for the buyer pressure to enter now you can see the buyer pressure entered somewhere here after the breakout of resistance and then the price make a movement upwards so when you trade reversals it is very important that you um, uh, must give importance to uh, the uh, strength of uh, the currency you are trading reversal in favor so you have to look that unless the strength is not increasing against the uh, moving uh, currency it is uh, not wise to take reversal trading reversal doesn't mean that you have to enter in a lower lower high high you have to wait for a confirmation uh, which will tell you that okay now you have enough momentum uh, from uh, the trend reversal direction so that you can enter so i hope you like this video uh, if you have uh, any suggestions any comments do leave it in the uh, comment box so i will be reverting back and uh, i will be coming back tomorrow with another video until then thank you bye bye